So Ryan, just lost on penalties to Exeter. How did you kind of see the game? Um, I thought the game was too open, if I'm honest. Um, we knew they would start quick, which they did. They come at us a bit. We knew that for 15, 20 minutes. We were going to have to weather a bit of a storm with a big crowd behind them. Um, we've done that quite comfortably, I thought. Uh, probably made a couple of good saves. Then we grew into the game and started to dominate. Um, obviously, had quite a few chances ourselves in the first half and got the goal. Um, so going in 1-0 at half time was a positive. Um, played some really good football. Second half, a um, little bit disappointed. I think it becomes scrappy. We stopped doing the good things we were doing towards the end of the second half and allowed Exeter back into the game. Um, and it sort of suited, the second half sort of suited Exeter slightly. It was a bit rushed, panicked. Um, but we've just got to learn from it at the end of the day. We're, we've let them back into the team. They've scored a goal from our, from our goal kick, which is not good enough. So we'll look back on that. Um, and then penalties, potluck comes down to who's got the nerve. Abby's made some great saves for them in the, like, in the second half. Tash had two one on ones um, and she actually placed them pretty well. I think Abby just made two unbelievable saves and she made two good saves in the penalty shoot, and that's, that's just the way it is. You mentioned a bit there, but it was the uh, high pressure game today. Had a, a really good crowd, which is great to see. How do you think the players kind of cope with the situation? I don't think they were phased by the crowd at all, but I think it helped Exeter throughout the game, especially in penalties. Every time our player walked up, they were getting booed and jeered, which we understand playing at Exeter. But I think it's an experience the girls can learn from, especially our young players. Um, so yeah, we've just got to move on and dust ourselves off and go again. And looking at some positives, we had Kaylee Lane back in the first team today. How do you think she kind of did? Yeah, so Kaylee again, she's only had two training sessions with us. So she only just signed on this week. So she's come straight and got 90 minutes under her belt, which is good for her. Um, and good for us. Um, I think Fort Hare and Nimi linked up quite well in the midfield. Um, and defensively, we were pretty solid for the majority of the game, so they've done their jobs. Um, but yes, yeah, so it is a positive having Kaylee. Obviously, we were missing Bex and Gemma today, um, which is two massive losses for us. But we've got, again, good enough players to replace them. Um, but we just we shouldn't be losing to Exeter, um, in my opinion. That's no disrespect to Exeter because they've a good luck to them in the next round as well. But in my opinion, we shouldn't be losing these sort of football matches. Thanks, Ryan. Cheers, Dan.